have this debate over the next several weeks. What if it leaves lower income Americans uninsured? Well, we want them to be able to provide have a method so they can get access to it. There are things that we really do like, for instance, dealing with pre-existing conditions, allowing people up to the age of 26 to stay on that. Yeah, yeah, get rid of the, the these arbitrary lines of the states. Sure. So I think there's a lot of good things that we. But can do access that. for lower income Americans doesn't equal coverage. Well, we're getting rid of the individual mandate. We're getting rid of those things that people said that they don't want. And you know what? Americans have choices, and they've got to make a choice. And so maybe rather than getting that new iPhone that they just love and they want to go spend hundreds of dollars on that, maybe they should invest it in their own health care. They've got to make those decisions themselves. So in other words, for lower-income Americans, you're saying that this is going to require some sacrifice on their Well, part. we've got to be able to actually lower the cost of health care. I mean, one of the things we're concerned about is health care inflation is just consuming the American budget, both in the families and at the federal federal government. We have to be able to drive those cost curves down and provide good quality access. We do think that with more choice that you will get a better product at a lower price and that will be good for everybody on the entire spectrum of income. But you're not willing to say that more people won't become uninsured? Well, we lost, I think it was 4.7 million people or so actually lost the doctor that they had last year. The access is way down. When the cost in, in deductibles go up, you're not serving the American people well. And it, we have heard definitively that people know that this is not working. So we're going to try something different. We do think we can expand the coverage so that people have access to a quality health care product that they want. More access, but possibly less coverage. That might be the byproduct. Well, it, it, yes. Yes. I think that's fair. But we're just now consuming this. So, more of the analysis has to happen. That's premature. We just saw the bill as of yesterday. We're just starting to consume it. So um, we'll have to look at how that analysis moves forward. Fair enough. Congressman Thank you. Jason Chaffetz, thank thanks so thanks much for, for being me. here in yeah, studio.